Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Got a little bit of Luther in the background. Had to do some readjustments on our system here because the screen recorder stopped working. And so I had to reinstall it, which is, as you guys noticed in the past, we had the volume issues in the past where I can't hear you immediately up to loud. Okay, I had to spend the next, the last 25 minutes correcting all of that, reinstalling it, correcting it, getting it perfect, lining everything up, making sure that the end of the video has the correct name already captioned in there so I don't have to type it every single time. So we completed that. That's done. The uh, screen recorder that I'm using, they actually have updated it. So I now have the updated version. Uh, apparently they had some tweaks and things that they had to get rid of and get knocked out and all of that other stuff. So now we are up to date. Okay, what we're gonna do, watch this. By a USPS with no variations or deviations from the aforementioned format, no other forms of communication will be permitted and slash or is acceptable. I gotta stop this, so Special one quick note. second. We gotta start from the beginning. Special note, the reference properties are attached along with the land pattern. No, Copies I said stop. We're supposed to be all the way at the top. So let's put that cursor there. All right. Whew. We are in receipt of documentation from your organizations claiming to somehow have a vested interest in the property located at. Please be advised that any and all future communication regarding this property must be sent to via USPS with no variations or deviations from the aforementioned format. No other forms of communication will be permitted. The address is, is here. Acceptable. Special note, the reference properties are attached along with the land patent copies of the tender of payment instruments, the power of attorneys and other associated indoor reference materials for your review. There is also included the Social Security Administration fee authorization form 445, which also must be construed as tender of payment offer as prescribed by statute. The attached instruments are defined in statute as the United States government obligations, and as such we must demand that this agency provide for us the procedures for discharging and slash or offsetting these government obligations. Current national financial crisis. In 1933 by an act of Congress, March 9, 1933 act known as the Emergency Banking Economic Relief Act, it was determined that all property in the United States is owned by the government, that individual so-called ownership was only by allotment. Congress also determined that all mortgages in the United States were deemed to be government obligations, which come with the guarantee of the United States full faith and credit. By operation of law the Federal Reserve in their member banks are permitted to act as middlemen so to speak for the United States government, by completing the property paperwork that is loan docs, and then forwarding those documents to the United States Treasury of the United States Treasury window for credit. The United States government not only guarantees these mortgages that is government obligations, but they have gone one step further, they required insurance on all conventional mortgages slash home loans in the United States. Insurance slash securities fraud. These properties are insured, we paid the premiums, we paid the insurance premiums and at present have been defrauded. There has been an active engagement in constructive fraud by the mortgage insurance company and the financial institution and the United States government against ourselves as consumers. The consumer protection laws are there to assist individuals such as our persons when we are harmed as a result of unscrupulous activities. Because our investment was traded on the securities market, and the agreement held that we were the trust interest holder or investor we forewent recoupment of receivables in lieu of application to any applicable balance, there has been a failure of duty of care and breach of trust on the part of the securitization trustee, and we bring forth this complaint with reference thereto and associated by reference to the other matters pertaining within this presentment. The mortgage on our loan was not on our home, the mortgage was on the loan the lien was on the home. We believe based on the aforementioned laws that the financial institutions have been duly compensated, in fact our agreement was that the home was not collateral for a loan that is we use the loan to acquire a home, and until we acquired the home that was not ours to collateralize, meaning that we could never place something we do not have the ownership rights over as collateral. The mortgage-backed security agreement permitted and slash or allowed the financial institution to trade our property on the market in lieu of payment for the loan. Because the stock market investments are construed as a risk, we agreed to allow our home to be used as collateral, should the financial institution not receive the benefits of such a transaction on the market. We forwarded our interest that was due me as a result of our being a trust interest holder and an investor and that mortgage-backed security, so that those receipts would be applied to the balance of the account, this has not happened. We also have been giving information that the financial institution has received tax credits and other benefits as a result of charging off the account, yet those credits and or adjustments have not been applied to the account as is cognizable under general accounting procedure. 
the failure on the part of the financial institution and or the securitization trustee to keep accurate accounting has resulted in our being harmed, and we hereby protest such actions and slash or interactions as a result of it being a violation of our due process rights. The financial institution was asked to give a complete comprehensive accounting, we are by law entitled to a complete comprehensive accounting, they have refused to supply. We have tendered payment on at least three different occasions, and have yet to have the account credited but they, the financial institution and securitization trustee by and slash or through it slash their agents, have placed knowing, false, misleading, misrepresentative information on the public record defaming us, libeling us, and slandering our reputation, causing us injury as a consumer, and we do hereby bring forth this complaint. We thank you for your time and look forward to your providing the information requested within the next 30 calendar days from the date of receipt of this presentment and slash or sooner as required or acknowledged by applicable statute. Ladies and gentlemen, as you've seen in less than five, six minutes, we presented this document that we've redone. I told you I was going to reword it. And as you saw, I made some other corrections because this is how I do my spell check. I'd rather listen to it to see how it sounds, to see if it flows correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, it flowed correctly. I have some other work that I need to do, but more than likely I'll be mailing those documents out today to make sure that the proper agencies get it. Now, it's going to go to the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, because we're talking about a mortgage-backed security. That's why we went ahead and gave the caption for each section. So let's show that again. No, not that one. This one. We'll show the 445 form in a moment. As a matter of fact, give me one second. Let me. You know what? I just realized, I don't know why I am pausing this as if I have some different information in here that I didn't want you guys to see. Personal information. There is no personal information I have in this document. I just pulled it up. This is my document. Now, as you see, the young lady who used the other one, the 445, it says pretty much the exact same thing. However, pay attention. I leave all of this alone. There's no reason to touch that. It already has the codes and the laws for them. It already lets them know that they're a government agency. This is the part that I have changed. Not that part, but right here. Okay. I, I keep their Privacy Act junk because I don't care about that. But I went to this section and all you got to do, you can go there too. You, do, you don't have to be just do exactly... Give me one second, R-U-P-E, DROPE. I have to download DROPE again, y'all, uh, to my cell phone. So uh, that's what I was doing on a cell phone. So that's why I say give me a second. Doing two things at one time, you know, just got to get it done. All right. Let's get back to reality. Ladies and gentlemen, just type in this code. What code? I can't see it. Too small. Could you make it bigger? GN 00506.110. Review evidence in a fee-for-service application. That's what I attach, ladies and gentlemen, when I send out my fee authorization approval form. Now, ever since I did the video and told everybody about what I did with the United States Treasury, ooh, doggy, they have been really ignorant mothers, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I can't do that no more. They have been very stupid. The clerk of the court is sending everything back talking about you didn't pay the fee, excuse me, make a decision on my document. Make a decision on whether or not the 445 form is an appropriate form. Make a decision on whether or not you've already accepted this form. That's what I want. I want to hear you say it's not an appropriate means of payment. I want to hear you say this is not a form of payment that we authorize and accept. That's what I want. So I'm going after the clerk of the court. But anyway, let me get back to you guys. The reason why I put this in here, I didn't put this in here for their benefit. I put this in here for the Social Security Administration's benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a suggestion. I, I'm, going to, I'm just going to let you guys know that you can try this. They'll come back and say, well, this is not for you to fill out. This is for them to fill out. If they give you a letter telling you that this is for the agency to fill out, there you go. Now you got proof that the agency is supposed to fill it out. You send that letter from the Social Security Department. You got a mortgage? 
Total Social Security Department that this is a government agency. And remember, the banks are government agencies. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We did the authorization lookup. Let's do agency. Uh, A-G-E-N, uh-oh. It keeps doing that. Let's do that. A-G-E-N-C-Y. I'm looking for federal agency EIN number. Now, the reason why this is important, and this is important, so that's why I'm pointing it out. I don't have the new agency number in here, and I should have the new agencies uh, for 2018, but we'll do the one from February 2017 so you all can see it. Let's get y'all out of the way because y'all getting on my nerves. Oh, we, it ain't there, so y'all can stay there. Y'all ain't getting on my nerves after all. We want view. Come on, view. And we want edit document. Okay. Now, again, this is the new one. No, no, the new one has a different agency above the Administrative Office of the United States Court. Okay, so let's reduce the size of this so we can see. And we're going to do Federal Reserve. Okay, so let's, I said Federal Reserve, it said no matches. Of course there's Federal Reserve. Is this paid in full with my boy Rockham and Eric B? Paid in full, you guys. Sorry. Pump up the volume. Uh, we're going to have to go down to the Federal Reserve. So that's the ephemesis. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Bang, bang. Pump that bass. All right, federal, still in the departments. We don't want the departments. We want the ephemesis, federal communication. It's gonna be in the uh, federal reserve is gonna be in the FRs. Okay, pay attention so that you guys get it. Remember they're membered banks of the federal reserve. Okay, do you guys understand what's going on? They're membered banks of the federal reserve. That's why it's the Federal Reserve Board and the Federal Reserve, both two different agencies. You need to pay attention. They're all under the Department of Agriculture, as we talked about before. This is what I want you all to get because you're not getting it. These are all federal agencies. Okay. These are all federal agencies because it's a federal agency. Hold on. We're going to get rid of this. Oh, I know what you're going to say. 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 Shut up. I know what you're going to say. If I strive, then maybe I'll stay alive. So I walk up the street whistling this, feeling out of place. Because, man, do I miss a pen and a paper, a stereo and tape, and me and the mic and everybody being the big cave of fish, which is my favorite dish. Okay, sorry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, paid in full. My melody uh, this man right here, the president, uh, y'all just don't know. And although he is not who he used to be, rock him when he came out, the man was a genius. Is he that anymore? No. Sorry. I don't, don't appreciate the stuff he's doing now. It's nothing like this. And if he had not had a big head because it was called Eric B and rock him, Rockham wanted it to be Rockham and Eric B. Rockham got a little bit too big headed, wanted too much money at the time. He should have just sat back, paid his dues, and then he would have been okay. But that's not what he did. Okay. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Government agencies. Now, you see it says st state and local government agencies. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't care about this right here. The fact is, you see government capitalized. We care about that. This is the Social Security Administration. They know what they mean about government agencies. Okay? They know exactly what they meant. 
community-based nonprofit social service agency. Well, that is the so-called government. That's why this is an appropriate form. So when we get the Social Security Administration saying it is the agency's responsibility to fill out the form, there we got proof that the agency is supposed to fill out the form. Okay. Hey, Teddy Pendergrass and my latest, my greatest inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to leave that being your latest and greatest inspiration regarding this day. Again, we're talking about that 445 form and sending this, a letter similar to this to the SEC, the Federal Trade Commission, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Why? Because all those agencies are supposed to be notified. You're going to title it complaint. Okay, you're going to title it complaint. If they tell you they don't deal with these type of complaints, they don't handle this, they don't handle that. You can tell them that, no, it don't work like that. No, you don't get to do me like that. No, no, no. Not going to allow that. Not going to allow you people to ignore me. Not going to allow you people to treat me as if I don't know what I'm doing. No. So if you're telling me that you don't oversee complaints regarding this agency, complaint regarding that agency, then put that in writing. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, please have a good day. Goodbye.